careful. Are you going to cheer them on, Stewie? And then all four kids were on the balcony. Cute. Hey guys, so look, right there you can see a hot air balloon. Where I live you actually see uh, quite a lot of those hot air balloons. I just thought I'd show you, so yeah. Hey Lemons, good morning. Um, I'm finally making my breakfast shake again because I haven't had this in like what feels like forever. And um, not because I didn't want to, but just because of restricting. I think it has been like two weeks or something. So I am really looking forward to this. I just want to show you that I'm very happy to be making my breakfast shake again. I'm just out of the shower and um, I'm going to the zoo in like half an hour. I will be filming there, but first I wanted to give you lemons an update about my health and about losing weight because it has been like very, very hard for me these past few weeks, maybe even a month. It really has been like since I made that exam. So today it's the 2nd of August. I just wanted to talk to you about my progress and also about the detox uh, that I talked about like one or two videos back. I am going to find like my tripod because I cannot hold this thing for like 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll be back. Found it. Yeah, let me set this up. I have this little note um, because there are a few things that I wanted to tell you. So I planned in a detox for myself. The detox, it wasn't meant for me to not binge because I cannot control my binges. That's part of the problem. The detox was meant to not buy any unhealthy food like Ben and & Jerry's and chocolate and stuff like that. So that if I would binge, I would binge on healthier things that were already in my house like bread or um, Turkish pizzas. Those are things I binge on when I don't have sweets in my house. On the one hand, that's a good thing because um, every time I binge, the total amount of calories will be lower. And also in terms of like nutrition and um, the stuff that's in the food I'm eating, it's a lot healthier when I'm eating like Turkish pizzas and bread instead of like a tub of Ben and Jerry's. That's like the good side of it, but on the other side, it doesn't give me that much satisfaction because I do not give in to that urge to eat all those things that are like so in that moment precious to me. Like during my period of studying, I was not binging as much. I was very occupied with learning and uh, I did plan in like overeating episodes. And for me that worked like really good because when uh, planning those overeating episodes, I could give in to that urge to get all the things I really, really wanted in my mind, all the unhealthy stuff, but it also made me like uh, overconfident in myself. So I ended up doing good for a period of time, but then after that, I had too much faith in myself uh, around food and I did buy like things on sale and stuff like that. And I would store it in my freezer or in my cabinets. And then in like a binge moment, I would take that. That would confuse me a lot, so um, I decided to go in detox because I didn't know what to do. Yeah, the detox, it was a failure <laughs> and uh, I ate like very, very little days after days and I was like starving myself and then I had like the urge to binge, well of course, and um, then I would eat on stuff like Ben and & Jerry's and chocolate, I've eaten a lot of Ben & Jerry's. After that I would restrict again and yeah, like I said in my uh, first clip, I haven't had a breakfast shake in what feels like forever. I was skipping all those and I was replacing it with restricting or like binging. The day before yesterday and yesterday I have been editing a lot and while editing I saw some of my struggles and it helped me to give me some insight in like what I have to do right now. So what I have to do right now... Um, I am like every calorie that I have been eating for the past two, three weeks, I have been like counting for. So I have been walking it off or I have been under eating it. I am not just stopping with restricting. I can't do that right now. I'm not in the right place to do that right now. But the insight is there that how it's working for me now that is just not sustainable. It's not humanly possible. So I have made a few new rules for myself. Um, I have made the decision that I am going to just set aside all my lists, my lists with things I have to do like daily, like showering and brushing my teeth and stuff like that. 
it felt like I was constantly being chased by something so I stopped all that it's not that I'm not like taking showers or not brushing my teeth I am still doing all those things but I am just not so focused with like checking it off it feels like really really good to just have this sense of like peace for now I also made a deal with myself to not do uh, too much in one day so I can have like one appointment in one day and that's it so today I'm going to the zoo that's one thing and then I can't do any other things so like one socializing thing per day I am eating a little bit more I also have um, stopped counting calories for vegetables because the past few weeks I ended up counting every calorie so also calories for vegetables I stopped doing that so in conclusion my plan is to um, eat a little bit more uh, especially vegetables and I want to go back to planning overeating episodes instead of binging overeating episodes are very like conscious I can plan what I'm eating I have to learn from the past few weeks so I should not let my overeating episode be guided by like sales and stuff like that I should just plan an overeating episode and then on the day of that overeating episode I should go to the store and then buy everything and then just eat everything so that's my plan for right now and I just wanted to talk to you about it this is what I'm going to wear I think it's going to be a hot day just a t-shirt and then some pants so I have to go right now and I'll talk to you later and when you see me next I'll probably be in the zoo so bye lemons all those fishes And these are big. I can forgive you. I'll now see your blue. There is so much cold in you. And the silence is so loud when you go. I just stay dancing oh, with my shadow. Watch the time. I can't find the point where our two. <laughs> Hey guys, so right now I'm in the zoo and I am enjoying myself. I do not have a lot of time to vlog, but um, it's nice so far. I'll touch you later, lemons.